Hello and welcome back to another out of spec detailing video here from Clear Detailing in Windsor, Colorado. This video is going to be a little different from what you guys normally see on this channel. I'm going to try a little bit more of a vlog style video, but still some detailing going on today. So I'm actually sitting inside of our Volkswagen ID4 with the two shop doggos here and just pulled up to the shop. Today, what we're doing is we are doing a tire change on the Volkswagen ID4. And I like to make these extremely complicated, more than they actually should be. I'll explain why later, but what we're doing today is taking off the factory P0 all season tires and putting on a fresh set of Nokian Hakaplita R5 EV tires for our Volkswagen ID4. Really excited for this one. I, uh, yeah, really, really pumped to see how these tires do on this car. And I think the shop doggos are ready to go as well. So this is our Volkswagen ID4, brand new 2023 Chattanooga built. We picked this up in December, absolutely loving this car so far. It's already had modified suspension, so this is actually lowered on H&R springs. Um, but what we're doing today, so we're gonna be swapping out the P0 tires for some Nokians, really excited about that. We've also got a special set of wheels and a new set of tires coming for this car come around springtime. So we're gonna have a full dedicated winter setup with our stock ID4 wheels on Nokians. We're gonna get rid of the all season tires on here. Personally, really not a fan of all season tires, but let's jump in the shop and see what we've got to move because it is always musical cars around here to say the least. Oh, we got the shop doggos here today with me. This is Charlie, Stella's over here somewhere, but yeah, got to play some musical cars. So if you guys haven't seen, this is a Renault Twizy, probably the most special machine you guys will ever see in the shop here. I'll leave a link in the description to some videos on this with out of spec reviews and on Kyle's personal page. Now the plaid is in here. I've been kind of storing this for Kyle because uh, yeah, it's always kind of tricky with storage for him, but this car is actually coming in next week for full paint correction, polish, redo. Because this car was done quite a while ago, got in an accident, got scratches everywhere. So we're gonna be totally refreshing that, probably be making a video on that. All road here, we're gonna have to move this. And yeah, absolutely disgusting. This car is driving me nuts right now, but this is kind of the winter bomber. Um, when I'm not driving the Tesla, but this thing has uh, kind of been abused lately. So we got to move the all road and move this. I actually just finished this up last night. This is a really, really cool spec 718 Boxer S in lava orange and looking absolutely stunning. Really, really nice spec on this. I absolutely love how bold this is. So talking today what we're doing so we're going to be taking the wheels off so i got to move this car we're going to put the car on the lift and take it to discount tire actually back there are the nokians but why do i like to do this well there's a few things that goes on um, when doing a tire change so i like to one clean the wheels so i pull them off and then clean them up the other is i like to take the wheel weights off because i've had some issues with that in the past where they take them off, they scratch up the wheels. So I like to do it here because I'm used to doing it. Number two is I like to take these. So I buy these off Amazon and these are quarter ounce weights here and, I, and they're in black. I love having black wheel weights on black wheels. I know it's OCD, but that's what's happening. Now today also we are putting on some 12.5 millimeter spacers. I do have extended lugs for those, but yeah, really, really excited. Let's go check out these Nokians and see how these bad boys look. So we're actually gonna be changing tire size on these. Um, this is actually the rear sizing for the Volkswagen ID4. So it is, if I remember right, a 255 45 20, whereas the front runs a 235 50 20. But we're going to be doing a square setup. I like that because of ease of rotation. These are directional tires, so if you run the stock ID4 sizing, you can't rotate your tires. Uh, but now I definitely can, so really excited for that. These things are just super grippy, super aggressive. 
Love these Nokian Hakaplita R5s. And these are the EV variant with the foam insulated inside. I've got the non-EV R5s on the Model 3. Absolutely love it. Now, just wanted to make a comment. We've got snow tires on snow tires in here. So this is on a set of Blizzax. This car is about the least fun winter car out there. This is the old school Quattro system. No holodex on here. This thing is like literally hard to slide around but we've even got the twizzy over here on snow tires huge fan of snow tires if you can that's the way to do it we've got wheels and tires everywhere upstairs but like this even has a set of um, you know summertime wheels and tires on it i like having that so i don't have to do this whole swap back and forth constantly with tires but let's do some musical cars and put the id4 on the lift ID4 finally moved around. We got the Twizy back here and the Boxer moved. Always a fun game of musical cars here, but this car is such a pain to get on this lift because the backup camera is so fishbowled and not straightened or not centered that it's hard to get it on this lift and know exactly where you're going. But on there so far, gotta get the wheel caps out. But this is one thing that just drives me nuts is why do we have black wheels and silver wheel weights? So this is actually OEM, but if we were to go to discount tire today, not use these specialized wheel weights, we get even cheaper looking ones than these. It just drives me nuts. You shouldn't be able to see those in there, which is why I buy them. I take them to discount tire, have them put them on. Just so much better that way. And up we go with the ID4. <laughs> Well, we got the wheels pulled off here and let me talk a little bit about what my plan is with these. So I like to clean these. Why is that? Well, when you take any car in, say you're taking your car in for maintenance and oil change, understand that this is electric. If you have a clean car, I think mechanics and people who are working on it are going to be a little bit more careful. If you roll in dirt all over it, they may go, okay, this guy doesn't care. Let's just bang this out and get it done. So I'm always OCD. And when we get to discount tire to take these, I have a conversation with them. Look, I'm a detailer. I take care of, you know, all my stuff. I really need these done right. Put your best guy on it because if something happens to these, I need to get it fixed. And the reason I know you guys are going to say, well, why would you go to discount tire? Well, We've had issues with them in the past, scratching wheels, doing things like that. The most important thing is they have bought us multiple sets of wheels if and when they do screw up. So that's a nice thing to know that they actually do care in replacing stuff. It would be nice if it's done the first time right, but stuff happens. So let's take a look at the current condition. And as you can see, this is why I like to clean it. So imagine you take your car in, to discount tire they're smashing through all these cars they go to take the wheel weight tape off here your wheels filthy then they got to stick new wheel weight tape on there they're scratching all the paint inside of there that is why i like to do it myself is this a pain in the butt yeah without a doubt it is i mean doing this this takes you know a couple more hours instead of just dropping your car off here's the tires and go for it but i'm you know, extra particular and take really, really good care of my stuff. So let's get these washed up. And my dad just rolled up in his GMC 2500 HD AT4. This thing is truly a freaking tank. So this is gonna be our tire shuffle machine. He's actually testing out the Twizy over here, seeing how it is. What do you think? Pretty fun. Right? Yeah, it's pretty cool. So we're gonna be loading up the tires into the AT4 here with the other set of wheels and tires. Perfect truck for the solution. So we've got our little wheel washing station set up here. I've got my wheel bucket and we're gonna keep it simple today. We're just gonna be using some simple grain diluted um, one to one. So let's get these clean.
great. So super easy, not very complicated here at all. Just sprayed these down. These are pretty clean. I maintain my cars pretty well, but they really clean up nice. This has a little bit of protection on it. So I haven't ceramic coated these wheels yet. You'll see a video coming out, um, hopefully in the next couple months here, fully detailing the ID4, getting all the wheels coated. What's funny to note though, is say you're coating um, or you have coated wheels on the inside. I've had this before to where the coating is so slick, you go to take these wheel weights off, get a tire change, the wheel weights don't stick to it. So that's something to think about and that's why I haven't um, ceramic coated these wheels yet because I knew I was gonna be getting fresh tires on here. Now things do happen. So that's important to understand that uh, you know, down the road, I may need to have a tire change on a coated wheel, but just take that into consideration when doing it. I'm gonna get this dried off and then we'll pop them into the truck. So while I'm over there cleaning wheels, my dad is actually helping out. Huge thank you to him for doing that, for taking wheel weights off. What's nice is this car doesn't have a ton of miles on it. It's very fresh. These are coming off super easy. Now in the detailing world, anytime I'm doing a wheels off detail, um, I'm always seeing this residue wheel tape on black wheels, on you name it. Um, actually the Porsche, the lava orange one I showed you guys earlier, had all this wheel weight tape around every single wheel. It just looks terrible. So anytime I'm pulling wheels off, I'm removing all that before I coat it. But um, in this case, we're just gonna show you a little time lapse of taking these off. It's very, very simple. Um, a little plastic pry tool, some heat, these pop right off. Now, if they've been sitting for years, these don't really pop off that nice and you gotta go in there with some adhesive remover, but thankfully these are coming off quite easy. So got these all dried up. Another important note when doing tire changes, I always like to take out the center caps. I've had these lost before, had them scratched up. Just nice to take a wheel in like this. So we've got all the wheel weight tape off, nice and clean inside. This is really the way you wanna do this. When you take wheels to the guys, you just tell them, you know, listen, I am super OCD about this. Please be cautious, put your best guy on it. And uh, I've had great luck. So we're going back to the same discount tire that I took my Model 3 dual motor and put the Nokian R5s on. So hopefully we get the same guy and have no issues, but let's get these bad boys loaded up into the truck and get on the way. it up and here we go in the GMC AT4. So a little bit concerned. I had read on some forums and seen some of you guys with ID4s using 255s on the front. I guess I didn't realize that the front wheels are actually staggered um, compared to the rear as far as width. So the front wheels uh, run a 235-50-20 but they are eight inches wide where the rears are nine inches wide. So hoping we don't run into any issues because we do need this car for the Nokian tire event, like I mentioned on Monday. So yeah, I'll update you guys when we get there, but we've got our black wheel weights with us, got all the wheels and tires loaded up and uh, headed to Fort Collins. All right, pulling back up to discount tire. Let's hope all the wheels look nice and tidy. It's always, I don't know. I've got a little PTSD from that, from getting wheels messed up, but let's see how they are. Loaded these into the back and looking freaking awesome. The guys said they had no issues fitting the 255s on the narrow eight inch front wheels here. And they even uh, made sure that they're all directional. So make sure we have all on the right side, but looking good. Headed back to the shop now, gonna get these mounted, can't wait. Just got back to the shop and these are looking awesome. Love that the guys actually put which size these need to go on because these are a staggered wheel setup and directional tires. We have to actually put them on each side perfectly. So actually I was thinking I could rotate these but because of the front wheel size, not gonna be able to happen. So may end up picking a nine inch wide 
set of two wheels for the fronts and swap these tires on. Something to deal with later. These guys did a great job. All this stuff on here, not scratches. This is just the um, kind of slip solution they use to pop the tires on. No big deal, I'll get that cleaned off here. Probably just with a little bit of waterless wash and a microfiber will be super good. Great, so we got the tires mounted, the wheels and tires actually that is. So what I'm gonna do now is spray a little bit of Geon Tire Cleaner on here. Just get some of this mold release off, clean up the tire a bit, and we should be good to go. So this is a pretty simple process here. Just spray on a towel. You can douse the tire, but I wanna keep off the wheel as much as possible. And this just gets all the mold release and all the slip solution they use at the tire shop to get all of that grime off there, have a nice fresh rubber ready to go. Great. Now, on the physical wheel, just gonna clean off a little bit of dust. I got a fresh, clean microfiber here. This is a PNS bead maker in a Gion bottle. I'm gonna spray a little bit more on here. And this is just gonna clean off and leave just ever so slight bit of protection. I decided not to coat it today. Um, I'll probably do that when I take them off this next time. Just didn't wanna deal with it. Also get the center caps lined up and I always like to line them up to the valve stems. Just one of those things, those nerdy OCD detail things. If you guys can't tell, I'm a little OCD. Um, so yeah. This one's good to go. Just got to put the center cap back in and we're going to lower this thing down. We did also get the spacer in here with the extended lugs. I'm curious to see what this car is going to look like after another little modification. And down we go with the ID4. Looking proper now. Got to get the suspension unsettled and then we will get the wheels torqued. I really like the spacers on here. That looks so much better. And just took the ID4 for a quick little test drive. Tires actually seem much quieter than stock. Really, really pleased with that. And uh, yeah, already getting dirty. So another wash in order. The roads are just absolutely disgusting here, but. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Very curious to see what you guys thought more of this vlog type style. This is not gonna be a all time thing on this channel, but maybe once or twice, a couple shop updates um, on our personal cars, what's in and out of the shop, like things like the Twizy. We're gonna be doing full detailing stuff on this. As you can see, we've been having some fun. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you on another out of spec detailing video very, very soon. Bye-bye.